The lore is that soaking in Epsom salt baths will help the muscle, soreness, aches, and maybe even draw out toxins, according to some spa brochures. People often assume that because magnesium is so good for muscles and cramp relief. Somehow the magnesium from the Epsom salt will be absorbed through their skin and go straight to work in their aching muscles. It's a comforting mental image. You sit in the bath, magnesium ions sneak into your body and recharge your muscles like batteries. However, science really doesn't back this up. The skin is a pretty effective barrier. It's designed to keep things out, or we'd all swell up like sponges in the rain. While a tiny amount of substance can penetrate the skin for most minerals, like magnesium, the absorption through an Epsom salt bath is negligible. Now, in plain terms, soaking in a magnesium sulfide water bath isn't a practical way to get magnesium into your muscles or blood. One dermatologist famously explained it this way. Paraphrasing, the skin is more like a brick wall than a sponge, so while an Epsom bath feels good, it's not delivering a medical dose of magnesium to your cells. Research on Epsom salt baths is surprisingly limited given how popular the practice is. The proven way to increase your magnesium is through diet or supplements, not through your skin. Your digestive system is built to absorb nutrients. Your skin not so much. So why do so many people swear by Epsom salt baths for sore muscles? Well, a couple of reasons. First, warm water itself is therapeutic. A plain warm bath, even without any salts, increases blood circulation, relaxes tight muscles and reduces stiffness in joints. It also reduces stress, which may indirectly help with muscle tension. So a lot of the benefit that people feel is likely from the hot water and the relaxation of the bath, not the magnesium. Second, there could be a placebo effect or a psychological comfort at play. If you believe something will help you, that belief itself can sometimes produce a perceived improvement in symptoms. And you know what? If a ritual like an Epsom salt bath helps someone unwind, and their muscles feel looser afterwards, that's fine. It's just important to have a realistic expectations. 